What's your name, bro? Tristan. Tristan. My name is Travis. How you doing? Yeah, well, we don't always meet TR people with the TR names. Yeah. Um. So, here's your first question: Is who's the most important person in your life, and what do they want you to become? Uh, most important person in my life is my mama. She want me to come become successful in my business. Okay. Yeah. What, you starting a business? Yeah, I uh, have a clothing brand. Right okay. Yeah. That's what's up. What's it called? It's called Million Dollar Sacrifices. Million Dollar Sacrifices. Yeah. That's an expensive sacrifice. Yeah, that's an expensive <laughs> Why sacrifice. Why did you name it that? Because if you think about it, like what you're doing right now, you're making a sacrifice to, to become wealthy by, by, being, by, by doing this video. People wake up every day to go to work. That's a sacrifice by going to work. But the real picture is like, be rich before 25 so you gotta be wealthy before 25 so i say what like stop well stopping the partying go, stop going out a lot and really focusing on yourself and getting yourself right before you party and go out mm. so you're saying like sacrificing the life or the enjoyment that other I'm people off. oh i'm sorry i'm sorry no you good the enjoyment that other people are going out partying yeah you're sacrificing that part of your life so that you can have success yeah. earlier than early in life. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Why did you? How did you come up with this like concept? Um, like I don't like I don't like to get real personal, but it's like I ain't have none growing up, so I gotta. Uh, I'm trying to break a generation curse, and that's that's the way about breaking generation curse. And I love fashion, mm -hmm. so if I could do something by loving fashion and putting out a message, that that'll build everything. Okay. You mentioned generational curse. What do you What do you mean by that? By by becoming wealthy, like by be, becoming the first person in my family to either be wealthy or even like get to see stuff that my family members couldn't even see. So you're saying like break the cycle? Yeah, break the cycle. Got you. Um, okay, cool. So uh, next question is, what do you think would happen in your life if God became the most important person in your life? God, you know what? God is the most important person in my life. I talk to God every day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I talk. It, it's like that's a place I can go and talk to. Like that somebody will understand me. He like he understands me, and he don't he don't give no um no uh, no bad feedback. Mm. So like God is a real important part part of my life. Yeah. So who's God to you? God is like my father. That's who God is. My father. Okay. My savior. So when we say God, like we say Jesus, yeah. is that like the same, yeah. same that's God? The same. I feel okay. like that's, they're the same. Sometimes people say like, oh, I believe in God and I pray to God, but they're like, we're not playing, praying to the same God. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, that does make sense. But I just feel like they're the same person. Jesus, the Father and the Son are yeah, the same person. Yeah, they're the same person. Yeah. I mean, the word says that, uh, the, 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 that Jesus is the exact <laughs> representation of the Father. Yes, sir. Right? And the father's exact representation of the son. So, um, God knows Tristan's full potential. That's he knows it. what you look like at in your highest calling. Yes, sir. Right. So, if that's true, have you ever asked God when you look at me, what do you see? Nah, I I think that's a good question to ask. Right. Yes. Do you think if you ask question. that question that you would get a response? My, I might not get a response just in that minute, but he will respond. At some point, yeah, he will he's respond. Like, I'm going to show you. Yeah. I'm going to show you. So I started asking this question, this exact question, back in 2012, yeah. right around then. And I've asked that question throughout my life since then. Yes, and it has changed, changed the way uh, I commune with God. It changes the way I see myself, right? Yes, sir. Um, so... I can tell you this, that when God looks at you, the first thing that he sees, he sees lots of things. The first thing that he sees is he sees his beloved son. Yes, sir. Right? It's the same words that he spoke over Jesus when Jesus was baptized. Are you familiar with this? Uh, a little bit? Uh, just a little bit. It's just okay. Bit. It, no pressure. So he says, you're my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. So you already have his love and his approval. Yes, sir. Because Jesus says, I want to give them my image and they can have everything that I have. Yes, sir. Right? But that's just the beginning. Then he's got all of these unique things that he's placed in you. Right? Yes, sir. And I love the name of your clothing line, Million Dollar Sacrifice. Yes, sir. Right? Because the greatest sacrifice that 
mankind has ever known is that of Jesus. You yes, know what I mean? So, if you could ask God for one thing right now in your life, uh, how old are you? 18. 18? Yes, Come on, bro. Dang. Let's go. 18. What would you ask for? Just, just keep on giving me the strength every day to wake up. Mm. Just keep on giving me the strength. That's all I. That's all I really ask for. Cause I know he gonna work. He working every day. He's seeing what I'm doing, and he see, he improving me. So if it, as long as he just keep on giving me the strength and keep on giving me the 24 hours every day, that's, that's all I ask. You can do the for. most with it. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that in you. Thank you. Well, I just want to bless you because I feel like. Um, when I was walking down here, I was like, I got, I got to talk to this kid. I know you just got a phone call. I got to talk to this kid. Um, so, yeah, if I could just bless you and pray for you, that'd be, yeah. Yes, yeah? So, um, Father, I thank you for Tristan. I thank you for his life and all the gifts and the determination that you've given him is actually inspiring to other people. God, I pray that even other people that see this would say, man, at 18, to have that kind of clarity and vision for life. This is clarity that a lot of people, Lord, they don't find for, at all in their life. And God, I ask that not only would you actually speak to him when he asks you, when he says, God, when you look at me, what do you see? That you would respond to him, Lord, that you would show him a vision of who he is and that he would ask this same question often because you are molding him into the man that you've created him to be. So God, I thank you for this opportunity to bless him and be a small part of his life. God, we thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for what you're doing. Yeah, you're the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you.